Okay, okay video, go. We don't got an ass, man. Why are you such a big dick? You see guys here? It's as big as a man's arm. Oh. You see guys here from Ludacris. Hi. 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 They, they, Hi. they just got to be playing blind. Oh. Woo! We awesome did. What time it was. So, so, Glenn and Guy. Oh! Ah! Ah! Fuck that, man. Start over. All right. All right. You guys are from Ludacris. This is Paul. Hi. Paul. He, he is hey, a guy. Go. He's he's a guy. guy. He's a guy. He's a guy. They're fraternal twins. Right. I'm right. Glenn. And so he's not a twin. Right. 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 So we're all anxious to hear how about the new album. Oh, don't and look at how, that. How hairy his breasts are. Um, the new album. I heard that later. Well, here comes trouble. Right. Yes. Yeah. And it's really good. It's and very, like it. very long. Very long album. Know. This is good. Uh, it's got 11 tracks on it. Let's see if we can name them all. Let's go. Pick up trouble. Cheech and Chow is uh, called Cheech and Chow. My Eye. And uh, a funky little number called funky little That's That's That. Uh, I'm with Stupid, which is about a stupid, stupid, stupid man. That's a two part song. A double song. So you really have 11, 12 tracks. 12 tracks. Uh, a new classical song, Mozart Sonata number three. Number three. Three. Count them. One, two, three. Um, this is Steak Man. Mr. Johnson, Johnson and Juice Crew. This is Steak Man. This is Steak right. Man, the biggest man, the biggest man. Notice how big he is. Look at his ass. That's all. He's the biggest ass you'll ever see. And, um, I'll call you back say, Goodbye, Freedom, Hello, Mom. Duet with John Connolly. John Connolly, he sings a duet with Tommy. Uh, Down with the Ship. Which is a remake of one of our own songs. What's the first album? Which has about Play 90 it's different, it's Led different Led Zeppelin songs. 90? 95. 95. And, uh, Out of Time, which is about heroin, heroin addiction. And Drunken Milkman, which is about drunken milkmen. Yeah. Driving, drunk Frank, to the point. I got a lift in my belly button. Look, look, let's see who's fatter. These two, which one of these two fat guys? Not me, man. Alright, next question. Um, what do you think compared to the last time in Detroit? This time was fucking better. Amazing. It was great. It was better. It was still bad. It was good. No, it was good. It was good. It was good. Except we got cut no short. One threw, no one threw chairs at us this time. <laughs> there was still a fight, though. It was what? There was a fight. It was a good fight. It wasn't as good as last time when the guy got kicked in the face. He got hit with a folding chair. It was like pro wrestling. That's why I wanted wrestling. WrestleMania 3. Prepare the food. Yeah, we that's great. We got that on our practice. Cool, man. I took that one. We got a good picture. So, uh... So, uh... Who wrote most of the first album? Um, nobody. <laughs> Tommy wrote what? 99% of the lyrics. The first drummer, Alvin Cross, wrote like one song. Um, me and the first guitar player, Mark, wrote most of the music. Who never appeared on it, right? Who never appeared on it. He appeared on a live CBGB stage. Look at what? Um, supposedly it was only 500 were ever printed, but it's probably more like 1500. I don't know. Uh, I don't even have a copy. Well, I call CB's. CB's record canteen. And he's on, the, he's on the original demos, too. For $7, mail away. Go to the front door right now and buy some now. That same one? No. <laughs> Two dollars down the drain. We're changing our name. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Ah, because you got a fucking girl outside. He's a pussy whip motherfucker. All right. The new name. We don't know what it is yet. We don't know what our name. Our new album is going to come out under a different Actually, name. Actually, we do know, but we're not going to tell you. It's under a different name because we're having mega legal problems with fucking some contracts we signed and fucking all this shit. And the album's never going to come out if we don't fucking. Why, it's your name. Change the name. Else tried to steal the name. No, it's like we got hassled into fucking some contracts with t-shirt people and management people that is fucking either has to go to court or we fucking do something else. So we're well, pretty sick of being ludicrous anyway. So. Same band. I mean the absolute you know, it's gonna be a ludicrous house.
definitely. But, get better lineup, best lineup so far, biggest lineup. Biggest. So, uh, <laughs> which band did you leave to join Ludacris? Uh, blue, blue, um, no, TC Cross. TC Cross, like this glam metal band. That's the one's glam. Hard rock band. Rock. Rock. Paul was in it too. Me and Paul. They were hard rockers. They were hard rockers. Brother? Yeah. brother? No. Okay. Paul's mistake? mother even mistaked Guy for Paul once. Uh, everyone mistakes us. They have, they're not even related at all. Paul was in the same town. What else can we tell you about? Um, <laughs> Dick was. was that you or was that Excuse me? That was Paul. That's okay. That's Paul. He has a complex about how small his penis is. Yeah. This, this probably could be the whole focus of the uh, piece. Could be uh, how small Paul's penis is. Tiny. Right. I've never seen it though. With all these wires, man. Did you guys like ever that get that video cool. done? Yeah, it's fucking done. We don't have a copy of it. It's for This Party Sucks. It was filmed, like most of it was filmed at uh, Lemoore's. And some of it was filmed like at this uh, little studio. shitty video studio. I was just joking around and shit. And it's like, it's a pretty, you know, it's home video quality. Or it's like, it's not like fucking poison yeah. video or something. It's like Tommy goofing on Bon Jovi and shit. But it's good. It's really it's cool. You know, if you send a video, hopefully I'm going to have it this week. If you send a video. Like, and it's posted, so I can send you back a copy of it. They're supposedly going to release it to clubs like this within, like, two months or something, right before the release of the new album. So it, like, stirs up a little interest in So if I send you this video, you can send me, like, a bot video? Yeah. Can do. Babe. Come on, keep the questions rolling. Ask Guy some questions. Guy, you got to provide him. Ask him something good. How's band life? Fan life? Ask him about touring. Sure, like, you know, huh? All that shit. Talking to the camera. Oh, it's all right. You know, I don't like these guys or anything, but I have to go on the road. Tell some, tell a funny tour story. Tour story. Nothing about heroin or okay. fucking animals. Okay, what the, well, what's left? <laughs> okay, just tell something bad about Tommy. No, I like Tommy. Tell something bad about Paul. It's about his penis size. No, I don't want to know about Paul. Well, you know, say something uh, bad about Michael Sacco. You hate Michael Sacco. No, I don't. Oh, I'll tell something bad about Michael Sacco. What are you going to say? I don't know. Yeah, do something. Do it so pretty. He's Tell him about the time you beat him over the head with the fucking. Play the time that I beat the shit out of Tommy Christ and Michael Psycho <laughs> in the Knights Inn in what what town are we in? Cleveland? Yeah. No, Toledo. I kicked the shit out of them fucking pricks all over the fucking. And then I proceeded Don't to shit. I proceeded to Guy shit. shit on the counter. <laughs> and Tommy lit him on fire. We had to roll him on the carpet to put him out. What else was wrong? Frank Zappa's a genius. All big Frank Zappa. Yeah, you guys didn't play it in the songs of it. True, it did. Uh, the new, the new Down at the Ship. Here, Here Comes Trouble. I think that's all we only got to three. Yeah, it was like th two or three at the we very had, end that, uh... We got caught up. We had three more. We won't do it. Want to be in a video? Be in my video. Um, you guys have a video in mind for the new album? Uh, record companies sing that song, Here Comes Trouble, or this other song, That's That. It's probably going to be the video thing. For, uh, they're actually going to do a, a, a real video and a push to MTV and crap, which to me is fucking really weird. It's been doing Ludacris five years and fucking... They want us to wear high heels and makeup. They want us to wear high heels and makeup. So we'll do it. You know. So we're going to do it. Yeah. No, you're not like willing for us to be fucking, you know, just do what we do and do a video of it. So it's like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, definitely exposure. If we can go on, uh, you know, MTV and fucking do what we do, then I don't think it's fucking selling out or fucking being tricks. You know? It's so weird. You have, like, a hardcore audience that, like, as soon as you do anything that's out of that circle, you know, they fucking get upset or they get tense. I think everybody's really loosening up these days. Who produced a new album? Um, this guy in, we did the album in Rhode Island, in Warren, Rhode Island at uh, Normandy Sound with, uh, we co-produced with this guy Tom Soares who engineered on uh, the Leeway album and the Cro last Chromax album and has worked with like a bunch of jazz people, Billy Corncobman, uh, you know. You did the, uh, 